Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. It's a rainy day here. And it's 55 degrees here in Arizona where I'm at. So it's a it's a chilly day here. So it's a great day to make some warm, hot, cozy bone broth hot chocolate. Bone broth hot chocolate is extremely healthy and has a lot less sugar than your normal hot chocolate. And bone broth, you know, is high in collagen, which is great for your skin and your joints. Um, it's high in protein and it's anti-inflammatory. And it also supports uh, your gut health and it has a lot of electrolytes. Uh, so this is what I'm going to be using today for my bone broth. It's a skettle and fire. I would like to make my own bone broth, um, eventually here. And I'll do a video when I do that. But for now, this is what I'm using and it's all clean, natural ingredients. So I'm going to be using this and then, um, I'm going to be using cacao powder. And cacao powder is less processed than cocoa powder. And um, it's a superfood. It's really good for you. It's high in antioxidants, minerals, and vitamins. And the cacao uh, beans are raw, so when they cook it, um, it's cooked at a low temperature and, and it's fermented and then roast it. So, um, like I said, it's not as processed as cocoa powder. So, uh, you can also use, you know, if you have cocoa powder on hand, that's fine too. Cocoa powder will work just as good, unsweetened cocoa powder. Or, um, you can also get cocoa calm, which is from Earthly Wellness, and I'm an affiliate with Earthly. I don't have any on hand I have to order more but um, I love cocoa um, it has adaptogens in it which is very helpful for stress so um, you know there's a lot of like herbs in it and you know like I said adaptogens and then cocoa powder unsweetened cocoa powder and uh, I believe that's it but it's very very healthy and it helps with anxiety and stress and all that um, and there's nothing wrong with regular cocoa powder, but like I said, it's just less, pro it's more processed than cacao powder. So, but use whatever you have on hand. And cacao powder also helps retain the original nutritional value. But we, you know, when they cook it raw and they ferment it, it, um, retains the original nutritional value. It helps your blood pressure, improves blood flow, it helps diabetes, helps your heart and cholesterol levels, and it's also anti-inflammatory, just like uh, bone broth, and it helps improve mood and, and your brain. So, what I'm gonna do is put half a cup of chicken broth in the pot. Shake that up. So I've got my measuring cup here. And I'm only going to be making one cup today. You can double this recipe if you like. And let's see here. There we go. Got half a cup. You can see, I'm gonna dump that in there. And then a cup of milk. It, you can use whatever milk you have. I um, use raw milk, right? but if you want something that's non-dairy, you can use organic coconut cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a cup of milk in this. See, 
and you just come, you know, put all these ingredients in the pot all at once. So I've got a cup here. I'm going to pour that in there with the broth. And then two tablespoons of maple syrup. And maple syrup has a lot of health benefits as well. And it's a lot better than just regular sugar. And with this recipe, you're, you're going to want to use maple syrup. That seems to work best with this recipe. And then one tablespoon of cocoa powder, cacao powder, um, even cocoa calm if you want to get that. And I'll leave a link down below in the description. Um, to my affiliate link to order that and if you're a new customer you can get 10% off I'll give the code for that in the link down below if you have shopped it um, early before then and it's been a while I also have another code you can use for 10% off and uh, now I'm going to just go ahead and just put a splash of vanilla extract. And then a pinch of salt. And I just use pink Himalayan salt. So, just a little bit. All right, and so I'm gonna combine all the ingredients. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring it to a simmer. Just keep, you know, stirring it and combining it until it's, uh, you know, heated up. So this is great for you know, the winter is getting cold out. It's cold here today, or chilly. After I'm done making this, I'm gonna put some marshmallows on top of it. So you can add marshmallows on top or, you know, whipped cream or whatever you like. So I'm just trying to get all the cocoa or the cacao powder um, all um, broken up still in clumps. So I'm just trying to get it combined. So yeah, just, uh, you know, Simmer it until it's well combined. And mine's still a little humpy in here, so I'm just gonna keep stirring. Hope everyone is doing well and staying warm wherever you're at. And also cacao powder is a little bit bitter than regular cocoa powder, just because of you know how it's processed. It's more in a more raw form. So it's a little more bitter. I think I've got it all combined and no more lumps. And I'm just going to give it a few more minutes to heat up. It still feels a little just warm. Maybe I'll just turn it up to high for a minute to bring it. And once you get this all, 
heat it up and combine. Just pour in a cup and enjoy. So this is my first time making bone broth hot chocolate. So I'm trying it for the first time with you guys. Um, but I've been hearing great things about bone broth hot chocolate, that it's very good and doesn't even taste like it has bone broth. You would think bone broth, it, you know, that's kind of a strange combination, but from what I hear, you don't really taste the bone broth. It just tastes like regular hot chocolate. So I'm excited to try this. And I think this is about done, as you can probably see the steam coming from it. I don't want to burn it or anything. Like there's a little bit of milk in there. Pour that in there. It smells really good. It smells like hot chocolate. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in my cup and try it with you guys today. Got my fall cup. I got a bunch of these from the dollar store. There we go. And like I said, this just makes about a cup. Um, so you can always add more, uh, you know, fit however much you need. And then I'm just gonna put these marshmallows on it and these are called dandies and they're vegan marshmallows um so you know a few like carrot carrageenan i think that's how you pronounce it that's not the greatest for you but um you know it's a better alternative so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and put a few of these on top Throw some on top here. It looks and smells really good. All right, so this is what it looks like. Whoop, ugh, spilling it. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it for you guys. And try it. Hmm. It's just like hot cocoa. It's really good. So yeah, that's it. It's really good. It tastes just like hot cocoa. So enjoy this video and we'll see you next time. Have a great one. Bye.